Hi, I'm Matt from Haltech, and today we're going to be looking at the new Haltech Elite Series ECU and its ability to self-learn the fuel map. Now, those of you who are familiar with Haltech's Pro Plug-in range of ECUs will know that on those units there's the capacity to have both a long-term and a short-term fuel trim within certain ranges of the fuel map. Now the Elite ECU takes this concept a giant step further with an effective long and short term fuel trim for each and every tuning cell within the map, allowing for the map to actually self-tune itself over time. For this feature to work correctly, you'll of course need a calibrated wideband O2 sensor input like this WB1 Haltech wideband controller. Now in the software, there's two key maps that you need to look at. The first is the target air fuel ratio map. This is the air to fuel ratio that the ECU will try to achieve at each and every load site in the fuel map. If the engine is running lean of the target at any cell, the ECU will add fuel. If the ECU is running rich at any cell, then the ECU will remove fuel. Each time the engine passes through a particular load cell, the ECU measures if it's rich or lean of the target and then applies a correction. This correction is saved in the long term fuel trim map. If you look closely, you notice that the long-term fuel trim map has the same load and RPM cells as the base fuel map. That's because by pressing the apply correction to base fuel map button, you can actually apply this long-term fuel trim to the base fuel map. This in turn resets the long-term fuel trim map to zero and your base fuel map is now a little more accurate. Now one of the common downfalls of ECUs that attempt to apply a fuel map learning strategy is the handling of the transient load conditions. Now what generally happens is when you snap the throttle, the engine gets a big gulp of air. Now air is about 600 times lighter than fuel, so it accelerates faster into the combustion chamber. Then the fuel catches up later and you end up with a lean spot, then a rich spot. Conversely, when you lift off the throttle, the intake manifold empties of air much faster than it empties of fuel and you get a rich spot followed by a lean spot. So left unchecked, these transient conditions that cause artificial rich or lean conditions play havoc with the map learning, rendering many of the self-learning systems out there pretty much useless. Now to combat this issue, the Haltech Elite ECU employs an advanced long-term fuel trim gain table that allows you to ignore the transient conditions and concentrate only on valid and useful data. So let's demonstrate this a little bit on the dyno here and then we're going to go out on the street and see how this feature works in the real world and on the road. So the Elite Fuel Learning Strategy can be made more or less aggressive by adjusting how quickly the long-term table updates when the target and the actual air fuel ratios differ. Now the dyno is obviously the tool of choice when tuning the fuel map, however it's not an absolute necessity. Driving around on the street in real world conditions is also a valid way of building up data in the long-term fuel trim map, which can then be applied to the base fuel map. What you'll find over time is the numbers in the long-term fuel trim map become very small, at which time you can be sure that the fuel map is now very, very accurate. So what we're going to do here, we've got a map in this ECU. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to add 5% to the whole map, and then I'm going to go into the long-term fuel trim map. I'm going to turn it up to a very aggressive setting so that we can actually see the long-term fuel trim doing its thing real time uh, as quickly as possible. So let's... Okay, so as you can see, once the uh, ECU is past its warm-up time, long-term fuel trim map automatically starts trimming fuel out because it sees that the actual air fuel ratio was richer than the target air fuel ratio. Give it a bit of throttle, increase the RPM, get to the next load cell. And as you can see, as it goes through the load cells, it actually applies corrections in real time. So as you can see, the dyno is, is an ideal tool for this job, but you don't necessarily need one. We can do exactly the same thing on the street. So let's take this out onto the road, we'll drive around, we'll come back in some real world conditions and we'll be able to see what the long term fuel trim has done based on real data from a real street drive. So 
you have it. The long-term fuel trim map is doing its job. What I'm going to do now is go into the O2 control, apply this to the base table. Yes, I want to make that change. And now you notice that long-term fuel trim has been set back to zero. And these numbers in the base fuel map have changed by the amount that was in that long-term fuel trim map. So there you go, a nice introduction to the uh, self-learning capabilities of the new Elite ECU. I'm Matt from Haltech, and I'll see you next time.